Hello again, everybody. Thanks for watching. Today, we're going to be discussing the controller rack. Now, in previous tutorials, I had recommended that you open up your project notes in order to keep track of, say, your controls and your controllers, your peak controllers. That's not 100% necessary. Um, the project notes are, are good for remembering what scales you're in and what notes you're working with but it's not 100% necessary for your controller rack, and I'm gonna show you why. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of this automation track. We're gonna get rid of this beat and bass line. We're gonna get rid of this sample track. Now we're gonna come up here, we're gonna choose our instruments. So first we're gonna choose a bass slap. That's really loud, sorry about that. We're gonna choose our church organ. We're gonna choose our flute. We're gonna choose our piano. We're gonna click out of instruments, open up drums, and we're gonna come to our bass drum. Okay. Click out of my samples. Open up this controller rack here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, and I'd also said that I, I haven't been able in the past to add more than three controls. And that's, that's actually not the case either. So we're going to open up our triple oscillator first off. We're going to go to FX, add effect. We're going to type in peak controller. We're going to select peak controller. Okay. Uh, and then you're going to notice that it popped up on our controller rack over here. We're going to double left click and you're going to see this window open. And we're going to call this the triple oscillator. I'm going to call it the TO. And then we're going to click OK or Enter. Next, I'm going to open up my bass slap. Double left click. We're going to come down to here to open up our effects window. Add effect. Type in peak controller. We're going to select peak controller. We're going to click OK or Enter. Come over to our peak controller number two. And we're going to type in bass. Now, the thing about it is it's going to add your P controllers based on chronological order. So the second one's going to be your bass. So it's best to go to your P controller or your controller rack. First off, as soon as you're assigning any type of control and change the name instantly. That way you're going to keep track of it. Okay. So we can X out of this. We're going to come over to our church organ. We're going to go to effects. We're going to add an effect. And we're going to add, again, peak controller. This is our example for today, the peak controller. We're going to click OK or Enter. Come over to our peak controller number three, and we are going to assign the name organ. We're going to hit OK or Enter. Next, we're going to come to our flute after we X out of these have our flute, the name's up top. <clears throat> We're gonna come to our FX, open up our FX window. We're gonna add an effect and P controller. We're gonna select P controller and click OK. We're going to come to controller number four and we're gonna call this our flute. And click OK. Now we're gonna come to our piano FX, we're going to add an effect, and we're going to type in peak controller. We're going to select peak controller and instantly come over to the controller rack and rename it piano. Okay, so now we have our controls assigned. Now what I want to do is that every time, say, my triple oscillator is sounding every time you hear the triple oscillator note i want my bass drum to go down so essentially we're doing side chain compression compression so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open up my uh, bass drum okay single left click i'm going to go to my fx add effect and i'm going to type in side chain one word side chain and then you're going to select your calf side chain compressor. Click OK. 
Now we're going to come over here, down here to this knob, and that's your side chain compressor level. We're going to open up that with a right click, connect to controller. First off, we go to our user controller and light this light up here. And then we're going to connect it to our triple oscillator. But when we open up this window, this drop down menu here, you see that we have our triple oscillator, our bass, our organ, our flute, and our piano are all options for our controls. So you don't necessarily have to, let me cancel out of this, you don't necessarily have to open up your project notes if you're you know, meticulous in um, assigning your nomenclature. Um, as soon as you make a peak control, go to your controller rack, change the name, and then when you go to your SC level, it's going to say, connect to controller, then it's going to give you the option. <clears throat> it's going to give you the option of which one you want to manipulate. I mean, you want to, if you want your bass drum to be manipulated by your organ, your flute, your piano, your triple oscillator. Okay, but you only get one option at a time, meaning, I'm going to click OK, meaning, if I want to connect my bass drum to my organ as well as my triple oscillator, I'm going to have to go back to effect, add effect, um, type in side chain, choose my side chain compressor, open that up, click OK. Let's get rid of this one. We're going to come to our SC level, right click, connect to controller. Make sure you light up your user controller. Left click, drop down your, your menu here. And then we're going to come over to our organ. And we're going to click OK. So now we have two inch. We have uh, a, our bass drum is connected to two instruments. Um, and you're going to have to do that separately. You're going to have to have a new control for each one that you want to manipulate that bass drum. But this is the use of the controller rack. And now you can see all your instruments. So this is going to connect to your triple oscillator. This is to your bass. This is to your organ. This is to your flute. And this is to your piano. And I hope this tutorial makes your life a little bit easier. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.